Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're going to talk about our MACE single arm alternating circle. The alternating circle is the evolution of the inside circle and the outside circle, and we're going to put them together. We are going to change directions at the midpoint, which is where we tend to change directions. For safety, we would like to learn this with a club first because r -Max International club bells are covered with a rubber coating. <clears throat> this is not an r -Max International club, but it is covered with a rubber coating. And we would like to learn this exercise with a club because if we mess it up and we clock ourselves in the head, it's not going to kill us. With our mace, the same two concerns that we had with inside circle and outside circle. We are going to grab our mace in the middle of the middle so that when we're swinging, we are not getting anywhere near our toes. We would like to learn this with a club first to make sure that our circle is flat. If your circle is not flat and you start rotating in some weird way, then this giant thing is going to be coming right at the back of your leg, which is extraordinarily bad. And if you go the other way and you do not rotate the full 90 degrees, if you were to rotate, say, 75 degrees, and do your circle, then your leg would be right in the path of the mace. Giant seal ball, impact shin, consider that just generally bad, don't do it at all. Grab your mace in the middle of the middle. We are gonna start with our inside circle. We are going to rotate towards our back leg. Push, extend the wrist, swing all the way across, pull our elbow to our hip, stop. There's two ways to do this. You can rotate back to center, coming to our full stand, which is what we have people do in the beginning, or you can just catch and go directly back on the outside. Push, tip, swing, catch. Same thing on this side. We can rotate back to the center or we can catch in the rotated position. Let's show both. The first way that we teach is with the rotation back to center. Center, rotate 90 degrees, rear leg. Push, swing, pull, catch. Rear leg absorbs force. Stand up, come back to center. Rotate your chest 90 degrees. Sit in your opposite leg, push, swing, pull, catch. Sit in your opposite leg, rotate back to center. 90 degrees, push, swing, pull, catch. Rotate to center, rotate back, push, swing, pull, catch. Rotate to center. We would refer to this as a technical alternating circle with the mace. The technical part means we are demonstrating control in every position that we are achieving. If we were to do this more in a performance aspect, then we would not rotate to center. We would catch at the 90 degree. We would catch at the 90 degree. Performance alternating circle, push, catch, sit in the rear leg. People who do Asian martial arts will recognize this. Initiate from the leg, transfer the weight through your core, ipsilateral load, swing, catch to the other side. Opposite side, opposite hand, contralateral load, extend the leg to start the movement, push. When we're learning, no matter what version we're gonna do, we're gonna put our hand between the giant steel ball and our face. Because we just consider that Generally good practice to make sure we don't get sent to the dentist with $5,000 dentist bill. I've had a couple of teeth replaced after doing stupid things. None of it is pleasant and I highly recommend you don't do it. Let's demonstrate the other side using our uber fancy MF rehab mace. Even fancier. Looks cooler, but all the same aspects are there. Make sure you have that stop. Accelerate, accelerate, decelerate, stop. If we get this far, you'll notice our top finger is not doing any work anymore. We've gone too far. Use your top two fingers to stop that weight. As we swing, your top two fingers are squeezing all the way as hard as possible in order to get that weight to stop moving. When we see people learn this, we will see it immediately in their hand if they are doing it wrong. It looks like this. You will see this gap in the hand right here. That means that they are not squeezing with the top of their hand. When they catch, if this is a flat line, then they are using their whole hand. We have two grips going on here. At the top, we call this the okay grip. The grip is dominated by our top two fingers supported by our 
middle finger. Across the bottom, we have our ice cream cone grip, where our grip is dominated by the pinky. We call it the ice cream cone grip because it looks like you were eating an ice cream cone when you were a little kid. Okay, grip, top of the hand, extend, tip the wrist. As soon as we tip the wrist, we are in that ice cream cone grip. We transfer across. As we tip our wrist, the top two fingers squeeze as we come to a stop. And you will see it in people's arm when they do it because their arm looks cool and sexy immediately because they're squeezing different parts of the hand, which cause different parts of the muscles to fire, which makes their arms look cool. These are fundamental exercises because later on they will lead to us doing all kinds of fun stuff. But if you can't do this, you certainly aren't going to do the flippy parts. We'll learn the flippy parts in future videos. This is Ben Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica. Don't hit yourself in the teeth.